Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Cybermen. This is going to be a breakdown video for them. Uh, actually, the event just came out. I just recorded my Kaioken Goku Showcase. And uh, the way you get these characters is ridiculously easy. Let me just show you quickly what I'm talking about from the event, and then we can go ahead and take a look at the breakdown of the kits here. So, first things first, the event here. Uh, this is the event you go to. Uh, there's three stages, it looks like, for each Cybermen. And uh, each of these gives you a thousand Z power for those Cybermen. Then, uh, once you get them to seven stars to doing these at these stages, there looks like there's these um, daily limited stages to obtain the um, certain, I guess, adventures. And through those adventures, you're able to limit break the Cybermen further to up to 14 stars. So it is very easy. I mean, the missions are even easy too. Just clear within a certain amount of timer counts. These enemies are pushovers. So it is really, really easy to get these guys done. I highly recommend you guys all do that as soon as possible. It'll take you no more than 20 minutes to finish the event, I don't think. So uh, definitely take advantage of that while you can. So let's go ahead and jump into the actual kits here of all six of these Cybermen here. We have a green one, a blue one. Um, a yellow one, two reds, and then a purple one. So let's go ahead and take a look at the green one first, the typical Cyberman, um, you know, the original one. Uh, he's a melee type unit. Let's actually just pump him up to 14 stars so we can take a look at what his max stats are. Uh, 241,000 strike, 210,000 blast, 163,000 to both events is actually quite good. Um, the one thing I'm a little bit impressed with here is the defenses are very solid. Uh, the strike attack is okay. Wouldn't really say it's crazy, crazy good, but the defenses seem pretty solid, so I'll take that. Um, Alright, so the main ability uh, draws the Awakened Arts card Self-Destruct next, restores allies' health other than this character's health by 10%, and then 20% of damage inflicted by allies for 60 counts. So it looks like this guy's going to be a self-destructing unit. Interesting. Uh, the Z ability for this guy is 35% to tag minions or episode Saiyan Saga Z, base strike and blast attack during battle. Uh, the first unique ability is Assault Inflicted Damage Up. Applies the following effects to self from battle start for 60 counts. 70% of damage inflicted, reduces damage received by 30%, and then 70% to key recovery. Seems pretty similar to what they did with the Apool um, sort of crew there. Uh, the next unique ability is Defeated Inflicted Damage Up. The following effects occur when this character is defeated. He gives 30% to damage inflicted by allies, 40% of uh, allies key recovery, and then applies attribute upgrade, shorten substitute count by 2 to allies. Inflicts all enemies that attribute downgrade, plus 20% of slikes damage received. So, that's interesting. I guess uh, once this guy dies, the, your allies are going to get a permanent buff that reduces their sub count by 2. Okay. Um, so remember, you can also you can also use the Cybermen alongside the Apool squad, because they all are on the minion tag. And it looks like <laughs> they all have death buffs too, which is interesting. Um, but 70% of Q cover is actually really nice. Um, and then 70% damage inflicted. Uh, so it looks like because these are time buffs at the top here, uh, what they want you to do is they want you to, once their buffs have run out, so I guess 120 counts remaining in the battle, they want you to pop the main and just sack them off with the self-destruct and then get the death buffs here, I guess. Um, normal strike and blast. The blue card is acid. Deals major impact damage, 100% chance to inflict strong poison on hit. Okay. The green card is unlock key form of attack. 20% of damage inflicted for 20 counts, reduces next damage or sustained by 30%, and then that applies until enemy's uh, combo is finished. And then the Awakened Arts card is self-destruct, um, deals major self-destruct damage. The self-destruct damage does not depend on your own health, but deals a fixed amount of damage. The falling effects occur while there are three battle members remaining upon activation. 70% to own Awakened damage for three counts, and then inflicts all enemies with no switching. That's interesting, okay. <laughs> Um, it doesn't say that this card, that this, uh, card here can't kill the enemy, so I guess this, this actually could be, maybe be able to kill the enemy, which is interesting. I think, like, other self-destruct units also can kill enemies. Like, I know Android 16 definitely can kill people with the self-destruct, so it looks like this one, you can kill people with it. Um, so it's, it's not like a Bojax or anything like that. Uh, definitely looks interesting. We'll have to be able to, well, well, well we're, we're gonna use him tonight, I think. I think I'll do my showcase on this guy tonight. Um, and we'll be able to tell how good he is, I think, with a decent amount of uh, support from the minion tag here. Uh, let's go into the next one. So the next one is uh, the blue one. We have Kai Wallala Man. Um, take a look at his stats here. Looks like he's a range type. Stats are definitely way worse <laughs> than the other Cybermen we looked at. Defenses are like 10k worse almost. And then offenses are, I guess, kind of balanced. He has barely higher blast attack than strike attack. Okay. 
Uh, main ability number one, or main ability is uh, the Dangerous Blow. He draws a blue card next, restores key by 40, and then increases damage inflicted by 30% for 20 timer counts. He's uh, Strike and Blast Attacks. We also buffs both offenses to the minions and Saiyan Saga teams. Uh, first unique is applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. 80% to damage inflicted for 15 counts. 30% reduced damage received for 10 counts. 20% to special move damage inflicted. And then minus 20 to special move cost. That's actually, I think, going to be a pretty underrated um, asset for him. Minus 20 to blue card cost is actually really nice. Um, it'll allow you to, you know, end a combo, back up, draw a blue card, and then potentially overwrite your opponent's blast card with that. Um, and then, you know, just in terms of basic combo extension as well, we'll just let you finish off the enemy with 20 less key needed to use that blue card there. And 80% damage is nice as well. That is 10% more than the other one we just looked at. Uh, then we have Rage Sustain Damage up as the, or Sustain Damage Cut as the second unique ability here. Applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield according to the number of defeated battle members. So he reduces damage received by 20% for one member, and then for two members, he draws a blue card next. So when he's the last man standing, I guess he just comes in and draws a blue card, which is interesting. Um, okay, seems pretty solid. Uh, the blue card is acid, major impact damage, and then 20% of special move damage inflicted for three counts upon activation. So should be hitting decently hard, especially because he gets the extra blue card damage buff from this unique ability here. So uh, the green card is restores key by 45. That's a lot. 20% um, damage and then 30% to next special move arcs damage. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good green card. Um, because you, what you can do is you can, if you have a blue and a green card in your hand, you can use the green card and pretty much just chain that into a blue card from any range. You, 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 all you need is at least five key when you use that. So seems pretty good. Um, nothing too insane, but I think he'll be pretty decent. Uh, next we have the gold Cybermen, QO man. Um, defense type. Oh, okay. So stats shouldn't be that great. Yeah, like, look, dude, <laughs> look at how bad his, his offenses are bad, like straight up bad. And then his defenses are like just as good as the first one we looked at. So I don't understand, like, wh why are they gimping like defense types? It's, it's very weird. I don't know. Something I never understood. Um, okay, the main ability is Bioweapon Menace. 30% heal to the whole team, and then he cancels allies attribute downgrades. Okay, that's interesting. Not really like a crazy main ability. It's not really doing that much, but... Uh, the healing is pretty potent. 30% is a lot. And then the Z ability is uh, both defenses to minions in Saiyan Saga. We have sustained damage cut as the first unique ability here. Applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield according to the number of defeated battle members. So for all three members left alive, he's reducing damage received by 30%. For one battle member dead, he's still reducing damage by 30%. And then he's drawing a special arts card next. So just, that's a green card. And then if he's the last member left alive, he's actually getting 80% of damage inflicted and key recovery. And he draws a blue card. That's interesting. Um, and then effects reset to character switch. Okay. And then he gets sustained damage cut as the second unique ability. He reduces damage received by 40% until combo ends when changing cover. 70% of damage inflicted for 20 counts. Um, that's actually, what, 70% reduced damage received when he's... <laughs> when he's cover changing that's a lot um i think uh, here's the thing right because i'm going to be directly comparing this guy to roberry this is the defensive type unit of the batch here roberry was the defensive type unit of the batch for the pool squad i'm just going to tell you guys right now uh, roberry decimates this type of <laughs> like it's not even close that roberry as a defensive tank role on a team is 700 times better than the cyberman is and I can tell you that for sure, pretty much. So we'll we'll see, we'll see. Um, the blue card is major impact damage, inflicts enemy that should be downgrade, plus 25% of damage received. That's mediocre. Uh, the green card is 30% to damage inflicted for 20 counts, and then 20% of special move damage inflicted for 20 counts. Cancels on abnormal conditions. Okay, this guy seems okay. I mean, he's gonna be a decent tank, but you know, he just gets, he just gets rushed and killed, right? Okay, then we have the first of the red ones, uh, 10 of the man. Uh, range type, so it should be high blast attack here, 234. Okay, uh, not not crazy good stats, it's all right. Main ability is unstoppable assault, restores own key by 30, 50% of blast damage and card draw. Yeah, okay, that's a good main ability. He gets 30 key, 50% of blast damage and card draw speed. 
Uh, the card draw speed is only for 10 counts, so basically what that means is they want you to just extend the combo out with him with the main ability, and then once he switches, you're not, that's it. You're no longer going to have card draw speed. Uh, blast stack and defense to those tags. Arch card draw speed up. Applies the flying effects itself when this character enters the battlefield. 30 key. 50% of damage inflicted, reduces damage received by 25%. Oh, he actually has card draw speed built in. Okay, so the main ability is actually giving him double card draw speed. That makes more sense of why it's only 10 counts. Okay, yeah, double card draw speed can be ridiculously powerful. So that's pretty good. Okay, now what I'm looking for is cost reduction. Um, if you have cost reduction in the second unique ability, that would be really, really nice for him. Um, applies the following effects to self according to the number of timer counts elapsed with current character. 30% of blast damage, dry blast arts card next, activates three times, and 40% uh, damage inflicted. That's uh, pretty interesting. Okay, so what, what I think that six count one is talking about is every six counts he'll draw a blast card, is that correct? Or is it every time he switches in and six counts have elapsed he'll draw a blast card? I'm actually not sure. I think it's the, I think it's the second one. Um, but it, that, dude, this guy's getting a lot of damage. He's getting 50% blast damage from his main ability. He's getting 50% damage from this. And then he's getting 30%, so it's 130. And then if nine counts elapse, that's 170% blast damage. And he has card draw speed, and he can get double card draw speed from his main ability. This guy seems really good. Um, I'm interested in seeing how well this guy's going to be able to do, actually. Uh, the blue card is major impact damage, randomly draws one new card upon activation. Okay. Uh, the green card is 20 key, 20% 20 damage inflicted, and then, oh, that's good. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, the cost reduction. Minus 10 to own blast that's cost for 10 counts. That's that's good. So you want to find a way to weave in the green card to uh, his combo before you really start hammering it in with this guy. Okay, I think I like this guy the best so far, actually, so that's interesting. All right, next we have the uh, another the other red one. We have Jinguo Man. Um, all right, max stats here. He's a melee type, so stats are pretty pretty okay. I mean, his defenses aren't bad, actually. Um, I just got spoiled by looking at the, <laughs> the green one first, because he had the best defenses. Um, strike attack is pretty solid. I mean, it's free-to-play EX, right? Uh, main ability is going to be Merciless Attack. 35% of damage inflicted. That's permanent, so that's interesting. That's probably what you want to use uh, just right, right away. One of these main abilities that you just want to use as soon as possible. Reduces damage received by 25% for 25 counts, and then a permanent 60% of key recovery buff. Okay. Yeah. Definitely one of the ones you want to use right off the bat. And what is it? Strike attack and defense? Yep. To those tags. First unique ability is uh, inflicted damage up. Applies the falling effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. Draws a strike arts card next. Activates three times. That's actually good. So that means he doesn't really need card draw speed. Um, restores key by 20. 30% of damage inflicted for 10 counts and then reduces damage received by 10% for 10 timer counts. 10%? Really? When he gets an extra 25 from his main, but it's only 25 counts. Ah, this guy's going to be getting destroyed. Like, he's going to be getting hit super, super hard. Um, points of flying effects itself when this character enters the battlefield according to the number of defeated members. So with all three members left alive, he gets 70% of strike damage and reduces damage received. Oh, he gets extra damage, uh, reduced damage received on this one as well. Okay. Um, so 20, 10, that's 30. So he gets 55 reduced damage received with his main ability factored in. It's still kind of okay. Uh, one battle member dead, he gets 80% strike damage, and then 25% reduced damage received. And the last one is last man standing, so he gets 90% and then 30% reduced damage received. This guy's going to be hitting decently hard. I mean, you pop the main, it's a permanent 35% damage. You get an extra 30% from this one, so that's 65 and then assuming you have the full team left alive, it's an extra 70. So he's going to be doing 135% of strike damage. That's pretty good, considering he's also drawing a card and he gets key back on switch in. Uh, hunting throw. Uh, that's a lunging forward blue card. Okay. Deals major impact damage, 20% of damage inflicted for 20 counts on hit. That's pretty good. General damage buff. And then the green card is randomly draws one card, 40 key. And then 25% of special move damage. Uh, the randomly drawing one card is going to be really good for him because he doesn't have card draw speed. So I think that's good. As well as the key restoration only costs 14. So that's good. That's nice. And then I think we only have one more left. Yeah, we have the purple one. Copy man? Copy man? Whatever. <laughs> um, uh, wow, these are terrible. Yeah, he's a, he's a support unit. That's why. 
<laughs> Those stats are not the best, I have to say. Uh, so hopefully he does some good stuff here. Uh, main ability is Unsettling Army. Uh, restores own key by 50. And then he gives 20% to damage inflicted by allies for 20 counts. And then shortens allies sub count by 5. Dude, that should have just been a permanent buff. Like, why is it 20 counts only for the damage inflicted? Is this 20% of damage inflicted really going to break the game if you make that permanent? Like, I don't I don't think so. Um, it's fine. It's just, I mean, sub count, sub, the sub count reduction is really what makes this main ability good. It's kind of like the uh, purple of pools main ability, to be honest, but it's fine. Uh, both defenses for those tags. He gets switch inflicted damage up as the first unique ability. While this character is on the battlefield, the following effects are applied to self when enemy switches characters. Draws a green card, activates three times, restores ally health by 5%, and 20% of damage inflicted by allies for 15 timer counts. So he's going to be pretty... It, it kind of reminds me of like yellow LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku a little bit, where he's buffing the team when an enemy switches on the battlefield. Um. Okay. Let's see what he gets here. Inflicted damage up. Applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. 60% of damage inflicted for 10 timer counts. Uh, gets 30% damage reduction. And then uh, the following effects are applied to all enemies when this character is defeated. Uh, inflicts attribute downgrade plus 40% to damage received for 40 counts. Inflicts attribute downgrade minus 80% to cure recovery for 15 counts. And inflicts 5 sub counts. The 80% to cure recovery is really annoying. The only issue I have with this character is... Actually, let's, let's just finish the kit before we, 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 we say that. Uh, major impact damage, 50% of damage, that's mediocre. Um, green card is draws a card, randomly destroy, destroys one enemy card, and then 20% to damage inflicted by allies. Okay, that's interesting because remember, he's drawing green cards when the enemy switches. But here's the thing with this character. This character's not doing any damage, so why is the enemy going to switch? <laughs> right? That's my only concern here. Um, because these effects only apply when the enemy's switching right when this character's on the battlefield but when are they switching against this character he's doing no damage so this is not really going to apply i don't think too often maybe i'm wrong well maybe maybe they will we'll, we'll see uh i probably like this guy the, the least <laughs> out of all the ones that we looked at um but the ones that impressed me the most probably were this one uh the ranged one that like got all the damage and then honestly maybe just this one straight up the original one uh with these self-destruct sort of uh death buffs for the allies here but I think what we're going to do in terms of showcases is I'm probably going to show them off on the minion team with the Apool squad mixed in, uh, one by one, and then we might do a showcase of all six together, but we'll see how it goes, because you can actually just get all six of them right now to, six, to seven stars. So uh, we'll knock those videos out, not all at once, because it's a lot, <laughs> but um, trickle them in over the course of the next few days. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you guys think of the Cybermen, the free-to-play Cybermen. Very easy to grind, though, so that's a big plus for them, and I'll see you all in the next one.